The state calls Christie's mother, Erin McInday. She lived with Christie and witnessed several altercations between War Machine and her daughter. Were you ever present uh, at the home when the defendant became physically violent towards your daughter? Yes. I heard screaming and fighting. And I came out of my bedroom. Christy was standing up on the stairs. I'm not sure where John was. And she said he grabbed me by my neck and drug me up the stairs. And I'm like, I'm calling the police. And you could see she had a red mark on her throat. I grabbed her and I set her down on the bathtub. And he stood in the closet with his laundry bag, taking his clothes and stuffing it in there going, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I want to turn your attention now to the early morning hours of August 8th of 2014. There's a string of texts from the defendant's cell phone. Um, and it says, check on Christy ASAP, go to her house. There was a huge fight when I came in. The guy she was in bed with came at me. When you start getting these text messages, um, you know, what do you do? What's going through your mind? My thought was, she's dead. That did, was my thought. Did you get to go to the hospital? Yes. And so explain to us what you see when you walk in the door. I get to the ER and I said, I'm Christy Max, mom, I want to see my daughter. And they took me to her room. And she was laying in the bed and it didn't look like her. And I walked around and I grabbed her hand. And she said, please don't cry. I squatted down underneath the bed so I wouldn't upset her. And I held her hand and I cried. And then I stood up and I said, this is done. This is done. Do you regret now, you know, not stepping in and going to the police? No. Mm -mm. The did. incidents that I saw, I really wish I would have shot you. That's my retrospective. I wish I would have shot you.